In the problem statement, given the rate of increase of the volume of a sphere, we need to calculate the rate of increase in its area when its volume is at some given value. It is important to identify what the problem is trying to ask. By saying that, calculate the rate of increase of its surface area when its volume is at some value, the problem is implying that we need to figure out the relationship between the surface area and the volume of the sphere. The surface area of a sphere equals 4 pi times r square, where r is the radius, and the volume equals 4 over 3 pi times r cubed. We do see that r is a variable in both formulas. Hence, we can isolate r in both expressions. So from the area expression, we get r equals a over 4 pi raised to the power of 1 over 2. And from the volume expression, we get 3v over 4 pi raised to the power of 1 over 3. So all we need to do is to equate the two expressions for r, and we get an equation relating area to volume. Notice that the smallest common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. So we can simplify this equation by raising both sides to the power of 6 to get rid of the fraction powers. Hence we get something like this, and if we work through the algebra, Eventually, you will end up with a equals 36 pi raised to the power of 1 over 3, multiplied by v raised to the power of 2 over 3. So this is the relationship between area and volume that we need. Next, to determine the rate of change in area with respect to volume, we need to take the first derivative of a with respect to v, as indicated by dA over dV here. And we're still not yet done, because the question wants the rate of increasing area with respect to time, which means dA over dt. Yet we do not have any time variable in this expression. However, this can be easily solved using the chain rule. So if we need dA over dt, all we have to do is to multiply dA over dv by dv over dt. This is very similar to multiplication of two fractions and the same terms in the numerator and denominator can be cancelled out. So dv over dt means the rate of change in v with respect to t, and this will be equal to 1.5 cubic centimeter per second, and here the value of v will be 1000 cubic centimeter. Putting all the numbers into a calculator, we would obtain that dA over dt is roughly 0.48 square centimeter per second, be sure to confirm that the unit is a unit of area over a unit of time.